Right before Valentine's Day, we get this. So red, pink, and white, and lovey-dovey. But actually, it's a lot more than that. The Love Train is the latest music project by Megan Trainer. When I saw this uh, come out being released, I thought it was the newest album we were anticipating from her, but it's actually an extended play. Apparently there's some other details going on behind the scenes about that, which I haven't dug too deeply into. I'm sure she'll find a time to release the album she had hoped and promised to be able to release. So I'm sure we're going to see that, you know, probably sometime soon. But in the meantime, we have this. And I don't know if she chose songs potentially from that album for this, but whatever it is that she decided to do with the six songs that are on this music project, um, I am shocked. Like, legitimately, wholeheartedly honest, shocked of how good I think this actually is. When Megan Trainer first appeared on the scene, uh, I had some mixed feelings about her. I thought uh, she was okay. I thought her songs had some good beats, and as we slowly got more singles from her, I'm like, mm, okay, well, a few of those are good, and others I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Um. So I've kind of just been in this realm where I'm just like, okay, I kind of just accept the fact that she's here in the mainstream. And that's all I really thought about it. I didn't think she was brilliant. I didn't think she was bad. I just thought she's just kind of part of what we got right now in the music scene. She's She's got a thing. Maybe she's got a niche. Maybe she's got, maybe she's got something that appeals to some people or something like that. I don't know. But I am not going to lie because it struck a chord with me. These songs, however she chose to put it together, in the realm of pure popness, seriously, uh, if you were to just talk and pitch me an idea for just pure pop music, not really cross-blending anything else for the most part, this is kind of what I would like for it to be. Something about it when I was listening to it made me think a lot about some of the late 90s pop music. Uh, I don't feel like it sounds like that, but it had me thinking about the way that they were either marketed or they were released or the way that they were just kind of had a appearance and the way they were presented out into the public. That's kind of what I felt like I wanted from pop music these days. And I feel like most things are completely overblown, um, just out of proportion or just marketed in the most fantastically outlandish ways possible. This one, um, I mean, again, it's not a full album, but something was done right. And it freaks me out a little bit because, again, I'm I'm not a pro Megan Trainer, I'm not a anti Megan Trainer person. I'm just like, okay, I think she's got talent for certain things. Let's see what works. If I had daughters or just friends who are hopeless romantics, this is something I could share with them and maybe rock with them in the car <laughs> in kind of a weird way. <laughs> Let me talk about some of the songs just to give you a perspective and an idea. First song, All the Way. There is something amazing that an artist can do when the very first song and track just feels like it sucker punches you with awesomeness. Like you just were hit and you loved how hard you got hit. That is what this song feels like to me. The next track after that one is called Marry Me. This is the one where it does dabble a little bit into some creative ideas with the ukulele and just kind of, you know, slightly more laid back, but still 
holds pretty true to the pop realm and things like that. The details and kind of just not overcomplicating it whatsoever. Kind of just getting to the point and making something that just feels simply musical. Yeah, that, that's all it is. I don't have any exquisite words that I would like to try and highlight this album as. It just did the job that I wanted a pop record to do. Plain and simple. And she did it. That was a perfectly good pop album. And I feel like we expect really oversaturated or overcomplicated production to be able to take over those kinds of things. And this one notched it down and we got something that maybe not everyone is looking for or will overly praise for it. But I am going to recommend the album because I feel like it's doing exactly what it should do. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 100%, creativity, 92%, expression and lyrics, 96%, I'm going to give this a yes. Yeah, I'm probably just as surprised as you are. The fact that it is smaller helps kind of the grading system in that regard, but I can't not recommend this. It has commanded my attention, so therefore, I am going to give the due props it deserves. Megan Trainer just put this in the most simplistic package that is exceptionally recommendable. And that's what I have for you. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.